leopard print belongs everywhere, whether it's, you know, a really high haute couture fashion house or, you know, a girl out riding her horse with her leopard print cowboy hat, it's, it belongs in all of those places. Hi, I'm Shania Twain, and today I'm showing off my favorite pieces to L. I've got lots to be excited about right now and to share with you today. Let's get started. Okay, so I think one of the things I love the most about this cowboy boot, besides the bling, because I love bling, is the fact that it's faux leather. And it can be a little challenging to find a boot that you really love that's not leather. So that was a great surprise. And I just think they're fun looking and they're fun to wear. And I love the length too. They come to a great spot. These boots I do not wear riding because I don't want to lose the crystals. But if I just want to get into like a Western spirit, I always wear them with, you know, like a tight leg blue jean and um, a sweater. The perfect cowgirl boot has the right heel for riding. I love to ride in cowboy boots for that. The support is super, super great. I mean, the best cowboy boot, really, cowgirl boots, is one that is comfortable right off the bat. One that you don't have to wear in to be comfortable. You gotta be able to run in them right off the bat. That's my personal feeling about a great cowgirl boot. Okay, well, I, I love a Stetson or the Stetson shape. It's very flattering and they're just a really good quality hat. These are more fun to wear out. I wouldn't ride in these hats because they're too pretty. And trust me, when I'm riding, I'm like getting dirty. So I don't want to get these hats dirty. <laughs> these are not the riding out or being around the horse's hat. I mean, especially in Vegas, I really do love when I'm, when I'm doing shows in Vegas and I want to literally just get off the horse, do a quick change, to go into town for dinner. I don't want to have to fuss with my hair, so I just stick it back in a bun or a ponytail and I put on a great cowgirl hat and I look dressed up. Cowgirl hats give you height and they are great for bad hair days and I have lots of bad hair days. So they are the perfect finishing touch to uh, a quick, you know, get dressed and look great. So this dress, I wanted this to be glamorous for Sage very flowing and very easy to wear. So it, 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 even though it looks like it's a, I mean, it, it is a gown, but it's very sporty. So under here, I'm basically wearing just a really stretchy, comfortable bodysuit and I can move and be very flexible. And all of this stuff just trails behind me. So it's, it's still very glamorous, but I have a lot of room to dance and move around and jump around. So it, it serves a lot of purpose. The design was very deliberate for that reason. And of course it's got bling. And I also wanted to kind of give, like this back here is sort of gives you the, the, the feeling of a trench coat, sort of like in the, um, that don't impress me much video. I should have put a hood on it. <laughs> Maybe I'll do that. <laughs> That Don't Impress Me Much cat suit was based on a fabric that Mark Bauer had in his showroom and it was a stretch velvet. And I just fell in love with this fabric because it moves, it's a four-way stretch. And when you're running around and dancing and jumping and all of that, or and even quick changes, it's gotta be durable, number one, and you have to be able to move in it very easily. So I never wanna feel restricted. So that was, a I gravitated to that fabric. And then to me, leopard print is my neutral. You know, some will say, well, white is my neutral, black is my neutral. For me, leopard print is my neutral. At the very beginning of shooting videos, it, I would say more around the woman and me. When I started making videos for that album, I just remember in the styling process, every time there was leopard print in the options or on a rack, I would gravitate to that. I just felt like it was the no fail neutral that I could wear with anything. At my shows, I get, girls with leopard print cowboy hats, with fringe jackets. I mean, it's so adaptable that I think there are a lot of cowgirls out there that just wear leopard print as part of their own personal fashion. And the flexibility of the print going from whether it's, you know, a really high haute couture fashion house or, you know, a girl out riding her horse with her leopard print cowboy hat, it's, it belongs in all of those places and I mean, it's one of the things I love about it, but I definitely see lots of cowgirls at my shows with leopard print somewhere. Cowgirl style today 
is quite sexy and playful. Uh, I like to go to the rodeo and the way that, I don't know, it's just they, they, they now, they're fitting jeans so beautifully and they're, they're, they have stretch in them so they can wear fitted clothing that still move and stretch for these athletes because they're athletes and they're not there just to look great. They want to look great and still perform great. So I would say that it's how girl fashion has come a long way in still allowing you to feel sexy and get your job done. So this jacket is pretty much vintage by now. I've had it for many, many years. It's a staple. I mean, it's just always on my rack of things to pick out because I wear, I, I'll, I'll wear it with like a beautiful blouse or I'll wear just a t-shirt and I can dress this up or down. It's kind of rock and roll. It's sort of like rock, rock chick cowgirl. <laughs> that's my, that's what this jacket is. And I just love the length of it too. It's, it's great. So it's, it's, it's been a staple for probably, I don't know, at least probably at least 20 years. I don't remember why I have this jacket. I just know that I, I did not buy the jacket like in a store. It's a designer thing that probably came on one of my shoots and I just grabbed it as something that I wanted to personally own. And I'm glad I did. It's pretty cool. Okay, so this, I love this. This, this shirt, I wear it when I ride horses. I can't even believe that there's no stains on this shirt. There should be all kinds of like horsey stains on it, but it just never quits. And I love them, the embroidery, it's very Western. It reminds me, you know, some of something that Orville Peck might where you know that kind of funky western vibe and it's long so i i like to wear it with leggings or like my riding pants you know i can wear it out or in i tie it a lot like i'll just tie it up so it's it's very flexible this is an absolute shirt that does not go away from my wardrobe and look at the it's even got i love the little roll up buttons because i hate most sleeves are too long for me because i'm short so i really love that little feature when a shirt has it <laughs> yeah, this is a, this is an everyday shirt for me. Every day. I'm sure I've even used it as my night shirt. You know, it's one of those things, yeah. If I had to let go of one of these pieces, it would probably be this <gasps> because I love to design. So this design is already done. So it's like I'm already designing new things all the time. So I would maybe give this to a museum or put it somewhere in an archival space and then just focus on creating new things, you know, new designs, new performance stage outfits. Well, I would say that the bracelet is the most sentimental piece because a friend gave it to me. It's just a horse head and it's got a magnet opening thing, which is really cool. And when, when things are a gift, they always mean, they always have more value to me more sentimental value, and I love horses. So anytime I'm reminded, especially when I'm traveling and I can't bring my horses with me, then I like to be reminded of my horses, my beautiful friends. My overall fashion motto is wear what is comfortable so that you wear it with confidence. To me, that is everything. And that means something that suits your body type, and that's not always what's in fashion. And so on that note, I really love recycling things for that reason from my you know, past wardrobe, or I love going to shops that have uh, vintage things, you know, things where, where there was a time when my body type was in fashion or more in fashion and shop there. So I'm not a slave to fashion in that way. I think, the you know, definitely my motto would be wear what's comfortable and suits your body type. But yeah, people always give me advice on fashion. I don't always get it right. I think sometimes, you know, we get caught up in what's in and, and all of that sort of thing. But I'm a great, I love to collaborate with designers and, and um, stylists. So I respect their professional input and I'm always open. I always go in to those spaces very open-minded and I always learn something. Well, thank you so much for joining me on Elle.